people who lived along that area over that time discovered that they had a very useful and important material right onto their feet. They hadn't to mine it, they hadn't to dig it. It was simply there, on tour in the sod, and Arnie Clay is sitting looking at you. I, at the minute, I'm still proving its refractory properties. That is how it behaves in high temperatures and temperatures of excess of 1,000 degrees. But the people then, like they weren't weighing it, they had time on their hands. Their grandfathers had time on their hands, their great-grandfathers and their grandchildren. So the trade was handed down and as it improved, of course I'm measuring the tin to add to the copper. These guys just done it, they didn't have to do that. They, they lived with it, that's what they lived for. And I'd say there was a bronze maker and a bronze maker, that's all he ever done was make bronze, you know. This would have been a very important area for that very reason because that material was so useful in manufacturing items like guns and swords, in fact, upstream from Arnie here itself, up towards Mullock Dunn, there was a moulds for this actual type of sword found on the banks of the river. And not only that, many years later, there was a bronze sword found a broken down here at the ford. And this, in fact, is a replica of the exact broken sword only I pointed it just to make it into a dagger, to make it, to recycle it. Like that speaks for itself, you don't have to explain how that was done. You can see the pour hole there where the bronze is poured in, right? And uh, it's a great material to work with, you end up with a lovely finish like that there. So all this was all learned many, many years ago and we are now relearning it. So it's a uh, this is what it's all about. Like we are wondering how these people made it work, and we're doing it with the brick, and that was in recent times. But now we're doing it with the bronze. So uh, finding out how useful the clay is, and finding out how useful these people were back in the day.